hi so this is katie signs and i'm going to be doing a, um, a catheter foley uh, demonstration today and we're going to start now so hi i'm katie i'm going to be your nurse today can you verify your name and birthday for me thank you let me see your wristband all right so that does verify uh, the same information um today the doctor has ordered for you to get a foley catheter um and that's what we're going to be doing today so I'm going to wash my hands for 20 seconds, uh, the hand washing technique with the in between the fingers and the thumbs and the nails um, and all that good stuff. And then we're going to prep our patient for when we are ready. So when we come in, we're ready to insert the catheter. Um, this is something I did when I was a STNA. Um, so I don't know if you'd want us to do it as a nurse, but we would check the side rails and um, we would pull them down while, uh, since we're here uh, and then we would uh, make sure the bed is locked so it doesn't move. I'm not sure if that's for residents like who live in nursing homes or if that's for hospitals um, but I would do that as well. Um, and then we're going to expose who I've been calling Mr. Penis. <laughs> so um, I'm going to uncover the blanket that he would have. Um, to expose him so when we are ready we can start the procedure so I have a cucumber um, and that's what I have today I would also bend his legs up uh, we're just gonna pretend that these are his legs we're gonna pretend that they're bent up um, and then we're gonna start the second half of this video um, I would wash my hands again before touching the um, bag Okay, so I opened up my catheter kit. Um, I'm just going to set that to the side. Um, the nurse in the video said that we can use it as a garbage bag at the end, um, which I probably would in real life. Um, so I'm going to start opening this away from me first, only touching the one inch um, non-sterile um, corners. So I'm touching the edges just to flatten it out. And then I'm gonna open the left side. And then the last one I'm gonna open is the one that's gonna go towards me. I'm gonna open that one towards me. Um, and then I'm gonna turn it just so it's um, nice and flat on the table. Okay, so here are our gloves. I'm going to keep that in the sterile area, only touching the edges just to open it. So then we're going to fold these open, only touching the edges. put on my They're kind of stuck together hold on I'm only gonna touch the puffs I'm gonna put on my left hand first so I can touch all of this because it is the inside so I'm gonna touch the inside to help put on my first glove without touching the outside of the glove For the thumb. I hope these gloves fit. I didn't try them beforehand. I wanted to keep it all nice so I didn't have to refold it. I can't. Oh, I think I'm putting them on the wrong way. I'm only touching the folded edge. I'm going to go on the inside of the glove to fix it. Okay, so that's good. And now to get this one, I'm going to use the clean side of my glove to go on the inside of this one, just like that, because I'm not touching um, anything sterile with a dirty hand. So I'm going to try and figure it out again.
So now I can touch the outside of this glove because this is the sterile part. It's not touching my skin. See, I'm only touching the outside to pull it down. Okay, so now that we have our sterile gloves on, um, we can touch anything in here. So we're gonna move this into the garbage. We're gonna, not going over our sterile field, we're just gonna drop it down. And then we're gonna put this on the paper and over here. Um, I'm going to turn this, uh, just breaking this for a minute, just so you can see what I'm doing, because I feel like it's not there. Okay, so I put the papers for the patient right here, and they're still on, they're still within the one inch margin. Taking out my swab sticks, going to put them to the side. Taking out my lube, going to put them to the side. Just so I can get my tray out from the box. Okay. I need that. Okay. So I'm going to open my swab sticks. And I know that, um, or I would check to see if my patient is allergic to betadine. Um, but hopefully this one is not, and I would check his, his chart to see that he isn't. I'm going to set these in here. I'm going to open up my lube. And I'm going to squeeze it out into the tray. And I'm going to find the I'm going to take the tube out. Um, if the doctor ordered a urine sample, we could use the tube and the label um, and label the urine sample. Um, we would put it in that tube. Uh, and I know you said that we um, shouldn't test to see if the catheter does open up um, the ball at the end because they don't do that anymore. So uh, I'm not going to do that. But I am going to slide this open. And I'm going to attach the end. Okay. And I'm going to leave it there so it's easy to do when I get in the room. So put it back in. So uh, now we're at the part where we're actually putting the placing the catheter. Um, I had to move some stuff around just so I could get a better video of, you know, what's going on just for school purposes, obviously. Um, but so this is where I moved him. He's on my futon now just because it was too hard um, in that area. Um, and I would keep my hands above waist level because that's the sterile field. Um, and then, okay. So I'm just gonna start now. Um, so I moved my sterile stuff to over here. Um, I have all my supplies and everything. Um, just in the same thing, just I moved it over. Um, okay, so we're gonna grab the drape. And she said to put the shiny side down. So that would be this side. And then, I'm going to apply the paper and I'm determining my left hand as my dirty hand um, because my more dominant hand is my right hand. So I'm going to hold the penis straight up, use the first swab to go around the top one time and then I'm going to trash that and then I'm going to go another time a little bit lower. And then one more time, just a little bit lower. So now the tip of the penis is um, nice and clean. And okay, and now we're ready to insert the catheter. 
Um, she's, I'm gonna move the catheter in between his legs so it's easier to maneuver. Um, and I'm going to move this over as well. This would be here too, but I can't fit it just because it's fake. Okay, so I would dip the end of the catheter in some lube. Now it's all lubed up. We're going to insert the catheter into the tip of the penis. And we got some urine output, so we know it's where it's supposed to be. Uh, because this is a 14 Foley, we're going to insert five mils. If it was um, the average size for an adult, which is 16, it would be 10, uh, but this one is five. So we're gonna go ahead and do that all the way down to five. Okay, and it is now inserted. So now the, the um, Foley is done. There's no, uh, we don't need to be sterile for the rest of this. So we would attach the tubing to the top of his thigh with some tape right here. Um, and then um, I would actually attach it to this thigh because we're gonna drape it on this side of the bed. So you'd wanna hang the bag um, below his the waist of his hip, uh, the below his hip. So we would place it here, um, you know, not on a side rail or something that's movable on the metal part of the hospital bed. Um, so we're just gonna pretend that's hanging on there. Yeah, and then, and then that's all complete. And then he is all set. I'm going to take off all the garbage. Throw that away. Throw away all of this. I would recover him. And I would give him his call light. Take off my gloves and wash my hands again um, before I see the next patient. And then finally, I would document um, everything I did. And yeah, so that's it. Thank you. Bye.